Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. I have done a hundred of uh, hundreds of anointings of the sick here at St. Paul in my five, six years of stay here. And two persons really struck me, Chuck uh, Lockman and Elridge uh, Livingston. May they rest in peace. Chuck was raised a Methodist, but since he married a Beverly, a Catholic, he started worshiping in the Catholic Church with her. When St. Paul started Masses in Townsend School, he and his family became part of the church because he believed in a family that prays together. Eventually, he started volunteering in the ministries here, met a lot of great people in the faith, until he decided to be a Catholic. He went through RCIA and he received the faith. Of course, this was before I started here. When he got sick about two or three years ago, he requested for me to visit him. I didn't know him, perhaps I had seen him at church, but didn't really know him personally. But accordingly, he asked for me to visit him and to give him the sacrament. We had a conversation, and what was striking was, despite of his illness, he was positive. I told him, you've been faithful to God all your life. Stay faithful until the very end. Don't throw away those faithful and faith-filled years just because of this difficult stage in your life. He agreed, and he was faith-filled until his passing. He finished the race, and he kept the faith. Elridge has uh, almost the same story. He was married with Gloria, and I know Gloria is watching us right now. Elridge and his family have been active, very active here in the parish, in masses and ministries. But in the last two years of his life, he battled a terminal illness. He was first given six months to live, but he passed that and lived longer than that. But it was not easy. It was full of pains. I visited him many times to give the sacrament, and I had plenty of conversations with him. And in all those conversations, I never heard him complain to God. I didn't hear him question God. He was full of faith. He had full trust in God's plans. He did not allow that difficult phase in his life to take his faith away from God. I hope their families forgive me for sharing their lives without permission, but I'm sharing this to give inspiration to so many who are sick right now or are in difficult stages in their lives, COVID-related or not. Do not allow sickness or challenges in life to take your faith in God away. I got goosebumps when I read our first reading today from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember the days past when, after you had been enlightened, you endured a great contest of suffering. At times, you were publicly exposed to abuse and to affliction. At other times, you associated yourselves with those so treated. You even joined in the sufferings of those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property, knowing that you had a better and lasting possession. But do not throw away your confidence. It will have a great recompense. We are not among those who draw back and perish, no. But we are among those who have faith and who have faith until the end. And in the end, we will possess life eternal life, that is. Amen.